Portsdown Hill is a chalk ridge with magnificent views over Portsmouth and beyond to the Isle of Wight and stands at 131 meters elevation. With six forts built around 1850 for a perceived Napoleonic invasion, these forts were never used for their intended purpose, however, became repurposed as anti-aircraft gun positions during World War II. The forts are named Fairham, Wallington, Nelson, Southwick and Purbrook. A bunker underneath Fort Southwick was used as a UK communication centre, or COMSEN as it was known. This was a critical facility with over 700 personnel underground operating the telephones, teleprinters and radio links and feeding this information back to the military planners whilst another 1,000 staff manned the fort on the surface. Today, the unique elevated position near these forts has led to developmental research stations being established from the British military and the private sector with companies such as Kinetic and the Ministry of Defence's DSTL who are designing, testing and evaluating radio, radar and electronic countermeasure systems. Today we look into the underground bunker beneath Fort Southwick. Now used as an airsoft site, this was the command centre and communication centre known as COMSEN and the bunker itself was known as the UGHQ, Underground Headquarters, Portsmouth. Portsdown, is it? UGHQ, Underground Headquarters. Right. Um, I'll go and get the sheets of box and go. Oh, if you want to go and start walking, I'll, I'll find you in the tip. Okay, on, cool. Brilliant. Cheers. So if you look up cool. So we're here with uh, Exploring Within, oh, yeah. Hidden Histories with Ray, All right. yeah, and uh, Alex of the uh, Vacant Haven, got to wear his uh, mask, gas mask, shaven naven. Yeah, so this is going to be... Oh, I'm going to put this one on. Good one. It's quite dark in some of these bits, isn't it? So we are here to turn pretty much an old... I've seen one or two. Bunker, 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 bunker. Bunker, bunker, bunker. Where do you? <laughs> <laughs> it's like the hand that we found. Oh, is it? Oh, oh my body parts. There's a decapitated, decapitated doll up there. Probably. So you get to it A Russian doll of runes. So the question yeah. is, where the hell do we go? Yeah. I'd say go. Go yeah. left to the furthest edge and walk away round. Is it? Okay. Walk away round and then come back in. Go for it. Okay. Yeah. Yeah. okay thank you. So we're secret vault. Hidden histories. Hello. And then one half of the vacant nation. Oh, I'll see him in the darkness, but I'll show you he's there. Oh. Wow. What's that then? Ah, it's just a little hole. I reckon that's been back. Has that been backfilled? Yeah. It's weird because there's concrete up there, so it must be something. Maybe it's been blocked off in the past. Oh, Armadillo Tactical Shield Riot. Riot Shield. Shield Riot. Oh, is that what that is? It's a, it's a riot shield, yeah. So, so no entry as well, it says, and we just went in there. Is that all the dots? Wow. All the fans. That's true. So, if you wanted to.
few more limbs down here. Hmm. Yeah, you've got body limbs everywhere. It's a really cool place to have like an, an airsoft yeah, well, a few thing. When we started doing this, me and Steve, and I believe Alex and Ned, actually looked at trying to find the entrance to this place. We found the door box you could get in. Mm -hmm. Did you know it was an airsoft club? No. No, not a lot, until one thing wrong, I think they're denied. What's all this then? You can go in here. It says strictly no pedestrian access. It's like a toilet or something. And some bits strange. Oh yeah, it's all just stacked up stuff. That looks like, um, that's like a hatch, look. That's a spring hatch. Wow. That's pretty amazing. There's a spring hatch here that looks like something you'd get on a submarine. It's like, you know... Oh. Wow. <laughs> it's, hot, it's hot dogs. It's like, uh, it's like proper sort of nuclear, nuclear supplies. Hot dogs. This would be a cool place to come though, wouldn't it? Yeah. Hopefully. I don't even know if we're actually meant to be in here, no, but... It's, just a it's a storeroom, but... He did say, didn't he? He, did, he said you can go anywhere you want. Yeah. Apart from, I think he did say you could go anywhere. In fact, my brain remembers. He said you could go anywhere you want, even though he probably didn't say that. <laughs> that's a few hundred years old. But that's why I remember. That's my and I'm sticking to it. Strictly no dancing. Toilet. Yeah, this is there, mate. I think it's good. Just got to go and explore the toilet. I would. <laughs> it smells like it's one of those chemical toilets. Is it a chemical toilet? It will be soon, like this. Is it? Soon, but. I'm going to chemicalise it. Oh, I don't sure. think that is a real toilet. No, that's not. Mm. Uh, I think that's the Domestos they've had to put down there because somebody's thought it was a real toilet and then used it. <laughs> Oops, sorry. So we've got um, evidence of the uh, old fan systems here. Which has rotted away in a lot of bunkers, so it's nice to see it still on the walls. It's a bit low here. Yeah, watch your GoPro. Yeah, watch the watch the camera. I've actually got protective lenses on it, so they're sacrificial. Got, ooh, ooh, Alex. I think Alex. <laughs> Alex, do you want to pee against the floor? <laughs> Go on. You can you can use anyone you want as long as it's against the floor. Look. Just pee on the floor. They're just teasing me now. Yeah. Yeah. Oh, bloody hell. Goodness, look at this place then. Crazy. And not for wean in. It says not for wean in there. But that'll bang your head on that, no problem. That's pretty low, isn't it? Bangy head. I'm probably like an inch too tall. Is this the glory hole that I've, I've heard so much about in fables? This is the glory hole. You crawl through here and there's lots and lots of um, happy times on the other side. Get in there. Oh, God. Look, I didn't, I didn't mess around getting through that glory hole. I can tell you. What's this TKWU? TK... TWKU. Did you bring your stickers with you? Oh. Yeah, they're in here. Oh, uh, we get in, get in trouble. Yeah, put, put them in here. Get in trouble with Andy. So, we're like, here in this underground HQ <coughs> and uh, we're finding the toilets very sort of fascinating. Wow, I know. But there's a lot of them, isn't there? Yeah. So, I, th I reckon there were probably 20 or 30 people at a time taking a crap simultaneously. Are we, um, there's a shit job yeah. somewhere. Yeah. Should we finish the toilets? Should we finish in the toilets? That's so interesting. Should we finish in the toilets? Right. Alright, let's do it. Let's finish in the toilets. Finish. Can you, can you imagine, though, they would have probably, like, marched through and it'd be like, left, right, left, right, left, stand to attention, and piss. Because <laughs> it's like 
Why would they have 20, 30 toilets? I'm like, now sit down and squeeze. <laughs> squeeze. Plop, 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 plop. That's the way we finish. Yeah, they trained him well, I bet, you know. You going to be all right getting through there, Matt? Well, it'll be better for the 360, innit? It'd be nice, I think. Ooh! Vacant Haven just like does it like, what do they call that stuff when you shimmy under a pole? Limbo. Limbo. Mm. Limbo, limbo. He's a limbo. And we've got Brian from Hidden History for Brian yeah. and Steve from Exploring Within. Limbo. 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 So yeah, we've um, yeah, been lucky enough to be allowed access to this place. Yeah. yeah. It's the uh, four-camera shootout at the OK Bunker. Yeah. Some serious hardware on, Me on here tonight. Yeah, Mexican, Mexican standoff, look, four-way. Uh, Matt's got the minigun compared to our little Glock. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. God. This is a place, though, isn't it? Yeah. It's more uh, greeny coloured on the walls in here, isn't it? It's got different colour paint. It's like a yellowy, well, that, yellowy yeah. green. It's sunny out there, just Oh, mm. oh, there he is. Th thank you very much. So, I, I'm going to re recite from my knowledge of my brain now, right, that in World War II, the underground UJHQ underneath Fort Southwick was originally closed in 1949, then reopened again by the Royal Navy during the 1915 Suez Crisis, didn't you know, Ray? When it was refurbished, and Steve... More, per more permanent use was made of the tunnel complex in the 1960s at my old fellow. <laughs> Cold War era was the defence was the defence teleprinter network of the NATO command organisations. I can tell you, you knew all this, didn't you? Yeah. yeah. It was called Comsen for the Royal Navy. The NATO function was moved from Northwood, I know that one, that's North London, isn't it, in 1968. Um, and in 1974, the tunnels were finally abandoned. I'll have you know, Alex. Um, when an above-ground Comsen was built on the parade ground of the fort. This was closed in 2001 when the Comsen function was transferred to the Portsmouth Naval Base, and in the late 1990s, the underground complex was strengthened and stripped bare. But strengthened, that's interesting, isn't it? Hampshire County Council expressed... So I'm reading it off this, by the way, it's not out of my head. Um, uh, expressed interest in purchasing the property from the MOD for a massive illegal council grow room. But, it, uh, but then they realised that they would probably get caught out for it, so they didn't bother. And then budget cuts did not allow for the massive grow room. So um, it came up for sale in 2003, and there were about 10 bids for the fort, which were received, which were, it was eventually sold to the Fort Southwick Company Limited. And during the Cold War era, Southwick was classed by the Soviet Union as a Category A target, mm. and consequently had uh, two one me megaton thermonuclear weapons assigned to it, one primary weapon and one as a backup, in case the monkey flying the mi missile went to sleep. So, yeah, there we are. So, uh, very interesting. So this was definitely a very interesting place during its time. There have been a lot of people down here working underground, so... I hope you learned something there, end of the lesson. Mm. So what's it called officially, is it just UGHQ? Well, yeah, and there's combined operations headquarters, combined headquarters, and underground headquarters, which is UGHQ or UHQ. Right. Yeah. Uh, during World War II, see, I actually started a bit later on there, so it's during World War II, um, it was built underneath Fort Southwick, it was provided a bomb-proof comprehensive Naval Army Air Force Operations Con Control wow. Communication Centres called MIN, M-I-N. It's interesting. The headquarters' main role on D-Day was gathering information and coordinating the Allied na Naval Forces. Reports from radio stations were cross-referenced with messages from shipping to provide accurate picture of what was happening in the English, English Channel. This information is only plotted on a large table. I've seen those... I've seen those large tables map at the fort, and this was passed to the Allied commanders in nearby Southwick House, whereupon 
um, they ate the uh, messages and then carried on with their uh, smoking heroin. So, yeah, as you do. Oh, there we are. Look, I know this one. Um, ooh, what was this? Southwick House, located in the village of Southwick. I've heard of this. You told me about this. Was used as headquarters for Shafe, the Supreme Had Headquarters Allied Expeditionary Force. Ah, that's sim similar to Shape, the Supreme Headquarters Allied Powers Europe. Right. That's why I thought that was... Yeah, really interesting, mate. It's, yeah. It's where Poison Power and Church are there. Oh, it, is it? Yeah. Oh, right, OK. And we've got some uh, pictures here as well, so... Have a little look. Sorry. Well, it's so far we've done the toilets. <laughs> yeah, the toilets look wicked. It's a big, big old place. They look like more concreted roofs, or have yeah. they come down some of these roofs? Because they look like they were more sort of. Uh... No, they just obviously where everything stripped out and the piping's been taken out as well. Right. They were lined. Like yes. Taken it, you know, ripped everything out. Mm. Hence the bare wall, wall, the walls. <laughs> Very interesting. That's great, yeah, thanks. Yeah, and that's Neil who works, I will blur his face out, but that's Neil who works for UCAP and he's going to be taking people out tonight for games in this facility. So uh, if you fancy hiring the place, come and get playing a game of Airsoft, get in touch with UCAP Airsoft, your number one Airsoft bunker place in the southwest. Where do you want to go from now? Yeah. Well, let's keep going around the edges, yeah, is it, and work our way in, or? Yeah. 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 Okay. Right. right. Just follow the arms. Yeah. yeah. Okie doke. Yeah. I used to have a big old monitor like that once. Big beasties. Big old beasts. Big old CRT. Yeah, all this is the stuff that we put in. Mm. Where we've got the place is empty. Yep. Just put it into the female a little bit. Yeah. Ah. Oh. Riot shield. You've got some of the actual chalk. Riot shield, yeah. You can see up there, Matt. Oh, yeah. You can actually see the original chalk. And a pipe that goes way up. Oh, that's yeah. a hell of a. Hell of a distance. Let me see if I can get a camera this pointed up. The galley, so they had this extractor fans there. Yeah. Hence where the pipe going all up to the top. Ah. Okay. Oh, look at that uh, rock there. This is going on. Wow. That's a bit end, but the fan off that's that long time we saw. Oh yes. This is a dead end in here, is it? No, you can go around there. Oh, is it? Okay. Yeah. Where, they, where did they say it was a dead end? That's not, you can get out of there. Oh, this one? It circles around to the uh, main corridor. Ah, oh, I see, okay. Do you want to go up and to the yeah, left? Yeah. What's that? Forex. Forex. Fire extinguishers, yeah. yeah. Ah, you got the old uh, Richard Crittall Marine Limited, that says on there. Storage containers. It's nice to see the. Uh, it's nice to see the original original uh, air systems in here. Yeah, I suppose yeah. Nowhere to hide you want to know. Well, this this 
the area that we call research lab. Originally, it was the uh, Gallo Kishner, Kishner area. Um, right, okay. Uh, An original IBM monitor. Wow. Very well said there, mate. I don't know. Some ga gas breathers here. Yeah. Some emergency uh, gas hoods for escaping fire. Emergency escape breathing apparatus, Draeger. Mm, yeah. Oh. Small uh, coloured light, just dim enough to see. I wonder if they've been. Do they turn those lights down then, on, uh, or do they, do they come like that? Because it's quite, it's quite dim, isn't it? Yeah, that one's certainly uh, Oh, it's just it's on its way out, is it? Right. <laughs> So do they do they really go for the darkness down here when they're playing the games? A lot of guys, yeah. They prefer sneaking in the dark. So it's a lot about sound then, they try to sort of sneak in the dark and catch each other. Yeah, you've got areas where it's quite dark and no lighting. Yeah. Um, and can they have lights themselves on their heads when they're playing or yeah, they, lasers? They, they weapon torches on the, on the gun. Right, I got you. Gives you away a bit, doesn't it, with a torch well, coming though? The one thing you don't want to do is play with a head torch. Yes. Because people see a torch and they shoot with it. That's it. You've got it on your head, you don't want to get shot in the face. Yeah. <laughs> mm. Can you tell me if I've got any spots of water on the top of my camera on that one? No. No? Uh, no. No, great, okay. Are you going to the end or is that it? Uh, I was going to go. No, you can go to the end and just go wrong. Okay. Interesting. It almost looks like a driveway of some description. Well, yeah, you can think that, wouldn't you? Yeah. Did they used to drive vehicles in the in some of these bits or? No. No vehicles. No. When it was operational, it was, uh, yeah. it was dry down there. Oh, look what's on the floor. Yeah. Post office telephones. Yeah. So there would have been an actual official telephone wires in there? Yes. Right. Wow. Wouldn't expect to see that underground. Wow. Yeah. So, remnants of the doors. I don't know why somebody stuck a bottle up there, just for fun. Mm. Wow. What we do is we're going to do like, um, probably after we've been around, we'll just crack the other camera up. Mmm. Oh, yeah. Was there anything behind that? Was, was it like bricked up later on? It was bricked up and we got in there, so. I guess the sensitive area is. I don't think there's any sensitive areas or something there. So you can see um, markings on the walls and floors where you could have had uh, some walls, possibly. Different rooms, perhaps. So what we have to leave the We can get the map room, we'll be underneath the main line. Wow! Just goes on and on, doesn't it? Just yep. keeps going on. And go, keep going to the edge because we're right at the top. So do you want to come all the way around the top edge? Yeah. Oh, wow. Go watch your heads now, a bit low. All oh, right. Sleep in the corridors. You had bunk beds, bunk there, and a bunk there. You just lower down. All right. Right. Yeah. Anything on it? Yeah. 
I've got some water on it now. Ah, okay. Can I give that to you for a second or somebody? No, just for a sec. Okay. Yeah, so luckily it's right off the top. It's cool. Cheers, man. For all those moaners who say, oh, what are you doing with that 360 crap? Throw it in the bin. If you walk in the centre of the corridor, you shouldn't bang your camera. Yeah. Stairs. I'm a bit tall, though. That's a bit camp for you, see? Is that Oh. Yeah. <laughs> It was a bit candy, wasn't it? Huh? Thought we had a gay ghost here. <laughs> <laughs> Steve's other side coming out. Ooh, NATO. Yeah. Do, you, do, you, do you think that sign was original? Was that here? Ah, um, oh, right, okay. Is this where we saw on the wall? Yeah. Ooh, wow. Now, I guess that's something we're not supposed to be. Filming. Okay. Right, nice. Right. Mm. I'm just having a break, I'm just having a thing thinking that... <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> no, it's alright. I just wondered whether the bloody thing was... Um, whether it was uh, steamed up, because it just seems like it's quite misty. It's probably just my imagination, but... Is it saying you've got low oh, battery? Oh, it's... Ah, uh, no, no. Yeah, it is low battery. It's a lot better now. I think there was a bit of steam on the back of the lens. It's so cool, that one. Yeah, that... It's a lot, a lot sharper now. Yeah, I had steam on the, on the inside of the lens. Changing temperature. Oh, look at that. Any ideas where that one goes in there? Yeah. Mm. Did any of these go to the other forts? Do you think they joined up at some point? Or? Uh, everyone says about um, linking to the other forts, but in realistic, you wouldn't have them all linked together because in the time of war or whatever. Yeah, they could overrun. One fort, one fort falls, and yeah. straight for a run. So. Yeah. yeah. Where we've been looking okay. at this. Yeah, this is crazy to get in it. Shane and Ned could be in there. Yeah, he's got it. Oh, yeah, it's mm. lots of it. Yeah. It doesn't have to, but he would rather. He would rather. Yeah, he's kind of sensible. But Nina's only got a self isolate for 10 days now. I swear he's steamed up again. <laughs> Probably constantly changing.
an absolute warren, isn't it? So I, I so this is remember, another exit then. I seem to remember, I might be wrong, but when I KS did this. Yeah. I know. I don't think he wants us filming the end exit, so that's any trouble. Stop it. More right, just go to the bottom of the stairs and have a look up. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah. Right. Oh yeah, we. We saw this one, didn't we? Quite a tall room. I think some of those photos were showing like a tall room that had a telephone exchange in it. Was, so it, it this was a map room. Map room, right. So this is where the plot and table was. Ah, okay. Did, would they have had a gallery looking down from above, like yes. a walking around the edge? There was a gallery. Uh, gallery and yeah. Was God, you can just picture it, can't you? So, like this tall. Like the film back in Britain where you see him pushing all the planes around on the table. Yes. Back, that's what it was in here, basically. Yeah. Those ladies with those long sticks. Long sticks, that's right. Yeah. Have you been to the Battle of Britain Bunker, Battle of Britain bunker in London? No, I haven't. It's very good. Yeah. It's really something. I mean, it's very well preserved. I want to go back to uh, Calvin and Hatch. Yes, that's good. I've been there once when we were filming up there. It, it's properly kitted out like the one at Kelvin and Hatch. You know, it's got all the control rooms. All the lights on and everything. Ah, is that where the where that hatch would have lived, or has it just no. been hung up there? It doesn't say that original. It's fiberglass. Oh, okay. It's fiberglass. It doesn't it's look at it uh, from there. Does from it? Ah, one of the giant No way. Let's have a quick look then. If it's a prop, let's have a quick look at it. Prop from a James Bond movie. I could have sworn that was a real, a real hatch. It's going to be really light now. Oh my god. Let's just lift it with his finger, look. That looks very authentic. I thought that was properly rusted and everything. <laughs> it's just fake. Wow. So this is, this is not spring then. I can see now, because it's not properly coiled like a spring. That's just pot copper pipe, isn't it? That's just copper pipe. Wow. It's amazing what you can do, isn't it? These art departments. Yeah. God, alive. More long tunnels. I'm surprised people don't get lost down the pipe in this game. Hmm. Yeah, where, where do the guys go then? Should we just keep following them? Let's check. Not 15 minutes, man. 15? Fifty. 15. Well, we better. But better, yeah, better sort of like try and walk as much as we can quickly. So I just walk and talk quickly, I suppose. So that's the way we just came, and this is where we're gonna go. These are all airsoft pellets, but they're soft under my feet. It's not like it's not like I'm tripping on them. They are quite hard. What's down here then? Wow. Oh. Locked up. I know we we haven't seen many bits of naughty graffiti since being down here, which is quite nice not to have to, really. It's not been vandalised too much. It's just a couple of... Uh, we don't want any graffiti. 
If it's, if it's origi original graffiti. Let's have a look at some original graffiti then. See what sort of... See what, I was going to say, see what sort of uh, rude things they were drawing in the 1940s. Oh. Oops. Ah, Isle of Wight, 1942. Isle of Wight. Do you like work? Want works and NCO. Oops. Is that you? No, that was not me. Uh. <laughs> <laughs> no, I was I was slightly uh, letting them off, but at the back end, like you know, so nobody'd have to put up with it. Normally, when they come from. Yeah. Ah, there's like a little hole in the. Left. And does that go anywhere? No, it's in the tunnel next door. All right, so you can walk around the back basically and get to that then. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. Goes right round. Okay. God. This is ideally ideally suited to this sort of like airsoft type thing, though, isn't it? Just lots and lots and lots of corridors. And how many people would you get, you know, playing a game down here at one time? Varies, you know, from 10 to 15, mm -hmm. up to 50. Yeah. So not, not too bad then, because it gives them a chance to actually be able to hide. Yeah. When there's not too many like that, yeah. Right, I'll walk around so I don't have to crawl through the space. We'll see you around the other side, mate. Oh, he's coming back now. Delta respawn. I can put the left one of them metal doors that take me into the corridor. Yeah. Interesting, though. S small rooms rounded off. Just rooms after rooms after rooms after rooms, this one, this bunker. At least we're not steaming up now. We're not steaming up. Ah, right. So you can see quite a way now from there down to there. Some of this original stuff on the ceilings as well. Yeah. Wood. It's the only time where it's got the original line. Yeah. Well, is is it wood or is it yeah. wood? Wood, not leather. No, this, uh, wood. You can sit better on the other one, and the next one I've got, I've got going to see how planks. Wooden frame. Yeah. Big picture in, and then. Uh, yes, sir. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Yes, Oh. Mm. It's a bit uneven. Yeah. Some practicing going on, is it? Steve, Alex. Okay, thanks. Oh, right, I see. It's a little practice uh, shooting area, is it? Yeah. Well, yeah, we nearly walked down there. I wanted to know how, they, how hard they hurt, but yeah. Have a little wander down there. Yeah. Yeah, just the other way. Do you want to go down there?
Well, uh, now they can be coming in and getting out of the cameras and go back yeah. out again for a bit. Do you mind if I film your uh, gun, just to show what people are like playing with, don't you? Yeah, cool. Yeah. yeah. Uh, what's that thing called an ace tech there? What's, what's that about then? That's a chrono to see how fast the ah, TVs are firing to make sure right. you're not breaking the limit. Oh, there's a limit, is there? You've all got to work to a similar sort of air pressure or speed? Yes. Ah, OK, cool. Never knew that. Otherwise they hurt. Yeah. Modify the uh, the things to get them a bit more crazy, is it? Yeah. Oh, okay. So, yeah, good stuff. Right, we're going to go and find our friends. I might put the 3D camera on now and just walk around with that. For yeah. A bit, okay. yeah. So um, we've basically seen most of the areas, is it? So it's just yeah, you, the you full extent. The much. full extent, right? So if we do a quick walk through with the 3D, yeah. and then we should be all right. I'll make sure no one else comes out. Okay. Well, if we if we hear anybody, we'll shout to them, like you know, don't yeah, don't yeah, fire. Yeah. <laughs> a big thank you to Andy Stevens of UCAP Airsoft for allowing us to film this site. Anyone who wishes to book a game of Airsoft or book the site, contact UCAP Airsoft.